there are certain laws that helps us in bible study number one we have what we call the law of single mention the law of single mention and you don't build a doctrine on the law of single mention the law of single mention means that you only find that word used once in the bible or just in a verse of scripture and that word is just casually mentioned it does not build doctrine then there's a law of double mention the law of double mention means you found that somewhere and you found that said again by another writer of scripture maybe paul spoke about it peter spoke about it so we have double mention and we can build a doctrine on the law of double mention then we have the law of emphatic mention the law of emphatic mention that means a place where the scripture you know not too many just one place a chapter where something is emphatically mentioned for example the subject of tongues one of the places where you will understand the subject of tongues very clearly is in first corinthians chapter 14 brother paul took time to deal with the subject of tongues in first corinthians 14 doctrinally so we call that the law of emphatic mention so we're going to move from the known to the unknown the book of matthew chapter 26 verse 28 for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins in bible interpretation we will say jesus made an a hurry statement and a hurry statement is a statement that you make as if it has happened when it has not happened but it is a futuristic event for example jesus in matthew says this is my blood of the new testament but that was not his blood of the new testament so that means he was making an a hurry statement something that was to come but he spoke about it in the present as if it has happened another place such a word can be found is in john 10 10 i am come that you may have life but in john 10 10 he had not started giving life because he couldn't give life to anybody until after he rose from the dead and in john 10 10 he had not died but he spoke as if he has already started giving life i am come that you may have life and that you may have it he didn't say i am come that after my death you will have life he says i'm come that you may as if he's giving life but that was what we call transitional truths transitional truths in bible study transitional truths in the interpretation of scriptures those places where jesus spoke about life in the book of john i give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish those were all events of the future that jesus spoke about in the present as if it has happened this will help you a great deal with bible study so you find some of these principles you can't just study the bible by yourself because there are principles that unlock bible study principles of interpreting scriptures which if you don't apply in bible study the scriptures are locked that's why when people like us come and begin to open up scriptures you go like ah the same thing i've been reading i didn't see this there are principles that will help you unlock plus the help of the holy spirit plus depths of meditation depths of meditation it takes hours and hours and hours and hours of meditation applying the keys is not enough you can have all the keys and yet it has not opened up so you need both the keys you need the help of the holy spirit you need hours of meditation so it is labor it is labor you don't just stand up carry the bible and start interpreting it no you must be trained on how to study that's why i take time sometimes in the course of teaching i give you certain principles i give you certain keys on how to study how to unlock scripture because it is very essential the bible is not just for you to read like you read a newspaper it has to be interpreted in the light of christ 